Don't forget to subscribe and like the video to become an official bunny fan. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a part two of this very cute little penguin scene. The mama penguin and a heart that says I love you and a little baby penguin. So in the first, in the part one video, we do the mama bear, or mama bear, I'm sorry, mama penguin. Uh, she's sort of small, but you know, I like her. She's very cute. <laughs> so now we're going to be drawing, as you can guess, and painting actually, yeah. <laughs> the heart and the baby penguin. So let's get started. If you didn't, if you came here before watching the first video, what you're gonna need is a marker, some paint, which I'll tell you the colors um, as we're doing it, a pencil, some paper, um, a eraser, and um, paintbrushes, a water cup, paint, um, and also paper towels, just in case. So yeah, let's get started. So first we're going to be drawing our heart. So right here, next to the wing, and if you didn't do the part one, that's okay, just draw a heart wherever you want. I'm going to do a heart. So I'm gonna draw this part here. I'm gonna draw it coming sort of like right next to the wing of that penguin. And then draw it down here, and then do it on the other side as well. And then I'm gonna write I, heart, and then you. And if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video, but I need to keep going. <laughs> Next, if you're going to draw the baby penguin. So draw sort of over here a bit. Uh, Leave some space from the heart so it's not like penguin. <laughs> That's not what the penguin looks like, by the way. <laughs> I'd say like a inch or two, or maybe it's like five inches, I don't know. Over here, um, and then we're just gonna draw sort of a curve from the top. And then from there, take, um, from either side, I'm gonna do it from the side. Okay, so either side you can do it, you can do it from either side. I'm gonna do it from the side, like I said. I'm just gonna pull down, do a curve, and then come down. Then do that on the on the other side as well. Then I'm just gonna um, you know, put that bottom. And then once you do that step, from over here, I'd say like a quarter of the penguin, um, draw a big sort of like C-shaped thing over here, crescent. Then do that on the other side as well. Then these are your penguin's wings. Mine are a little big, but you know, a penguin can never be too big, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> and then from where you um, started your wing, do sort of like a start a dome, and then do a V, and then attach it to the other side. Now we're going to draw um, the eyes. So draw a circle, and another circle. They look like an owl, I know, or the owl's eyes, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> um, technically a bird is not, or technically a penguin is not a bird, but anyway. Um, now we're just gonna draw another circle, oh wait, <laughs> wrong side. The circle is going to be facing the mama. So let me just erase. Okay, like this. You can have it like tilting up a little so it's like looking up, but you don't have to. And then we are going to draw the beak. So for this, I'm going to draw sort of like a dome or a half circle. And then 
a triangle right there. Now I am going to sort of smooth out my triangle because I feel it's too thick. I'm gonna soften the lines like that. Sort of like a circle, so it is technically a circle, but it's that's okay. <laughs> Now we are going to draw our little feces. So draw a circle. Draw another circle. I didn't leave room for that circle or that foot, but it's okay. And then you can do some designs on the foot if you want. But I'm just going to leave mine like that. Now for the blush. I'm just going to draw sort of like lines like that. And now I'm just going to like edit my penguin a little to make it more of the way I want it to be. So first I feel this head is just wrong. I don't know. It's gonna make it more curved and shorter. Okay, that makes me much happier for some reason. <laughs> and I think that's all I'm gonna edit with my penguin. Now there is a space here, which is fine with me. Maybe the mama um, penguin's like, you wanna come join me in my heart? <laughs> That'd be cute. But um, you can add something if you want, like maybe a flower or something. Or maybe, oh, oh, I have an idea. Maybe he should be having, he or she, sorry, I don't know. Another heart saying, I love you. Oh, I think that's so cute. Oh, okay, I'm very happy now. Now grab your marker and then outline your penguin and the hearts. from the top, then come down to the wing. Don't run out of ink, please don't. And then I'm gonna do this, and then this foot. And then that foot, and then come up over here to this wing. Now I am very bad with um, outlining. I always make a mistake and regret it. So that's why um, I'm using a very, very thin um, marker, which is has a downside. Um, it takes so longer, but you know, it's cleaner. <laughs> I'm just gonna do my beak my eye, my other eye, and then if you want you can do the blush, but from here, actually you know, I think I'll do my blush. It's just sometimes the color, or the black is so dark you can't even see it. Um, you can't see the magenta. Yeah, you can't see the magenta that well, but now I'm going to outline my hearts. while I'm at it. <laughs> I always like stop what I'm doing and then do something else. Like I just, I can't concentrate on one thing. <laughs> yeah, the water's got a little squished. You can see. But that's okay. Now, I'm gonna do, or finish technically, this big heart. And then over here, I'm gonna do these letters. And that's it for the outlining. Now you can add some details if you want, like eyelashes, eyebrows. I'm doing eyebrows, you know. Little eyebrows, like, maybe a bow tie. Bow tie would be so cute. cute. It might be too much, but I think it's really cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then on the beak, I'm just going to draw a little line. You can't even see it, so don't worry about it. You don't have to do it. Oh, there we are. I think that's too much. Now, 
favorite painting. I'm gonna do the hearts first. Actually, no. <sighs> I'm going to do the beep and the beepsies first because they are the lightest color, which is an orange. Now, I already have an orange color. Sorry, this is very messy. Here, I made I made this color earlier. I used orange and then this tannish color. And I made it also, there's black in it because my paintbrush had black on it. <laughs> Or black paint on it and it got mixed up in there so yeah now for this i'm going to use this small paintbrush Can you see? okay it's sort of like a square it does have black paint on it that's okay i'm gonna try to wipe the paint off but you know i'm too lazy to do that so we'll just get started with that i have my orange paint on i'm gonna wipe some of it off you probably can't see me doing that but that's okay because I don't want too much paint on it, otherwise it will, like, um, be too much and then it'll look bad, you know. So first, I'm going to do the beak. And by the way, if um, you do go over, like, the outline lines, that's okay because you can always go over it again with the pen. And then, okay, so we did the orange. And then next is the magenta, um magenta color thing this turn so i have this um magenta i mixed pink or like a dark pink sort of like a magenta itself with some red paint and i made this color so you can use whatever color you want but this is what i'm gonna use i'm gonna grab some wipe some off and then okay i'm gonna do my blush And then I'm going to do my hearts. It's okay if you go over the um, letters because, again, you can go over it again. Um, you don't have to, but you can. And then for the heart, I did myself use, for like the lettering in the heart, I did use a blue marker. But you, could, you don't have to do that. And, you know, you don't have to be doing this at all. So if you are doing it, thank you. Now, I'm going to color that in, but I'm going to use this bigger brush I have. Sort of a little bit bigger. It's covered in paint, so I can't see what size it is. But yeah. Dip it in that paint color. And then just finish, er, finish this art. Hmm, I guess I was finishing it with paint. I did go out outside of the lines. That's okay, because one, I might cut this out too. Eh, no one's person. Er, no one's perfect. <laughs> no one's perfect. I just like went entirely over it, but I don't care. <laughs> okay. That's good for the heart, I think. Now, um, I think I'm actually going to do bow tie red so i'm just gonna grab some red paint spread it out oh that was too much but okay and i'm gonna get my small brush and oh, <laughs> gonna dip it in that red paint and then i need to wipe it oh goodness I'm so happy I wiped it because it was like, there was so much water on it from just putting my brush in the thing, from the cup, so that's good. I think I'm going to do an orange, like, center of the bow tie, or shape this beautiful yellow and gold color. That's so cute. And then... I'm going to do the black, the hardest color for me. I'm really bad at doing this. So let me grab my black paints, which I already have in this uh, palette thing on the side, my paint. <laughs> I'm gonna grab my small paintbrush, this small square paintbrush. And then, cause my paint was small, so I don't wanna make any mistakes, so. And use this guy to do it okay so I'm gonna start with this left eye over here in the circle I'm just gonna put in a little black paint and that's 
looks nice. And I'm going to do that on this eye too. Then I'm going to do it on this left wing. Fill this in. Now you don't have to use paint for this. You can use like a marker or crayons or color pencils or something. I just feel like using this. And then below the wing, I'm just going to do an outline. Color that in. Then I'm going to do this head. Outline this first or the head first, and then color it in. Now, if you lose the V-shape, that's okay. I, I, I usually do. And then over here, I'm going to do this line, and then color this wing in. And then, let me grab some more black paint. Yeah, take some off. Then come over here this outline part, and then the feet. You know, I'm not gonna risk the feet. I think I'm just gonna use my um, outline pen because I'm just too scared. <laughs> Let's take this, and I already did that, but it's okay. I'll fix it. And over here. Let's outline the eyes. Um, you don't need to outline the blush, but you know. I'm just gonna um, do another layer of outline because I feel I could use that. Um, usually, like I did over here, I did use the wait, no, I did. I did <laughs> use the paint over on this one, the one I used to show you guys. I did use paint for that. But I'm just, I feel it's too risky to do that. So we're just going to color that in. The beak. And then the bow tie. And there's our penguin. Actually, we have to finish this. I always forget about these letters. So for this, I'm going to use yellow because I love yellow. So I'm going to use this big brush and I'm going to grab... My yellow paint. I'm not going to use a marker like I did over there. I just don't really feel like it. I'm going to do this eye, which turned out bad. I'll go over it with the square brush. And I'm just going to color in this heart. You know, I think I'm just going to use the smaller brush. The smaller brush comes in um, handier than the big brush. So that's why I like using this one more. Yellow is a hard color to do the um, magenta color, but I think it looks okay. Like that. And then for this, that's going to be really hard. So I think I am going to use my marker because it'll be way too hard. Oh, it's not going to come out. So, you know, we'll just leave it there because I think it looks cute. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. If you did, please subscribe and, of course, like the video. And have a bunny-tastic day. Bye!